If this is not about mindfulness, positive thinking, rewiring your brain or the subconscious, what is it about then when you're studying the brain? Okay. Well, here's the thing about your brain. <clears throat> what, what we've all forgotten is that we are governed in this experience. Yes, we're spiritual beings and all that sort of thing, but we're here having a physical experience and we are governed by physical laws, the laws of nature. You know, and if you think that you're not governed primarily by the laws of nature, try walking off a 10 story building and see if you go up. And you know, it doesn't, there's a law called gravity. And it doesn't matter how much positive thinking you have or how motivated you are or how much you pray, how much you change your beliefs, you're going to fall down. And that's the thing about us as well. We are biologically wired to be a certain really to be successful, and which means to be happy. And the thing is that we can try all of these other things. We can try mindfulness and we can try setting goals and we can try chasing after all of these different things. But if we don't know how the machine that operates us actually works, we're not really going to get anywhere. In fact, what we're going to get is we're going to have stress and problems. And, the, and I think one of the easiest ways to, to understand this is to think about another machine because this thing in your head is a machine and it's designed biologically to ensure that you are successful in your life. That's what it's there for. Not just survive, but to be successful. But if you don't use it the, wrong, the right way, you're going to have problems. Because if, if you think about another machine as a motor car, now everybody, if you were to say, well, what's the purpose of a motor car? People would say, well, it's simply to get you from where you are to where you want to go. That's all it's there to do. And it's, it'll do it in a very predictable way, in a, in a comfortable way for you. And it won't, there's no doubt it will do, do its job. But the only time it won't do its job is if you're not driving it the right way. And if you drive a car the wrong way, what happens? You get problems. You know, if, you put the, if you're trying to have one foot on the accelerator and the other on the, yeah. the brake, yeah. it's not going to work. You're going to end up with problems and you're going to end up with all this stress and struggle. And you might think, um, well, maybe the right way to drive a car is to get out and push from behind. And I'll put in, you put in all this effort and struggle and you motivated and determined, but the car doesn't go very far and you just wear yourself out. But it's just like that with the brain. The brain is a machine like a motor car that if you use it the wrong way, you're going to have problems. You're going to have stress. You're going to have struggle. But if you use it the right way, it's going to do the job it's designed to do, which is to give you a successful life. And what's the difference between driving a car and using, the, using your brain? The difference with a, car, with a motor car, if you were to see someone trying to push a car from behind, you'd say to them, what are you doing? And they'd say, oh, I'm trying to drive this car. And you say, you obviously don't realize, don't understand, don't know how to drive a car. You don't know how it works. And that's why you're struggling. It's not designed to give you struggle, stress, and problems and, and, and a lot of effort like that. If you use it the right way, it's, it's great, but you need to learn how to, to drive it. And so we wouldn't think of getting into a motor car and expecting it to take us anywhere if we didn't know how to drive it. But we're all living our lives with this thing called the brain, expecting us to take us places, and we don't know how to drive it. So that's really what I spend my time sharing with people now. And it's took, taken me a while to figure out how this all works, that, that you need to know how to drive this machine. And it's as simple as that. And once you do, all of the pieces start to fall into place and your life turns out the way it's supposed to, without struggle, without stress. And one of the great things is without problems. It sounds hard to believe, but this is how it actually works. 